Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to transfer photos from your iPad to an external hard drive. This method makes use of an app called DMOP iPhone Manager here. So of course, usually if you want to transfer your photos from your iPad or iPhone to an external hard drive or your computer, you may use AirDrop because it's free. But AirDrop has a limited number of photos that you can transfer. If you want to transfer 500 or 1000 photos at a time, it will not be able to work. But with DMOP iPhone Manager, you can transfer not just 500 photos or 1000 photos. Whatever photos that you have in your iPad or iPhone, you can transfer all of it to an external hard drive or your computer quickly and conveniently. So let me demonstrate how this app works. Let me plug in my iPad here so as you can see that my iPad is right here it's connected through the cable next you need to click on photo and as you can see here on the camera row on the left side here in my iPad I have up to 2849 photos again if you want to transfer all of these photos through airdrops it will not work but with the map iPhone manager it is just a few clicks away so to transfer all these photos into my external hard drive the first thing that I need to do is go back and at the menu bar here click on the map click on preferences and as you can see here the default path is not my external hard drive it is actually the desktop so I need to plug in my external hard drive quickly there you can see here external extreme SSD and now what I need to do next is to change the export path by clicking on this pencil icon here and then I scroll down click on extreme SSD this is my external hard disk click on open and you can see here and now it has a new path to my external SD2 here and it will create a folder called DMR then I click on OK and now I'm ready so I'm going back into photo here and now I click on select all so all of these 2849 photos will be transferred directly into my external hard drive and before we click to export there's some features here that I want to tell you before we proceed here if you click on export of course you will see two options the first one is export which means whatever photo format it is it will transfer all of it into one single folder that is export but if I choose to select export HEIC to JPG that means if the photo is in HEIC which is Apple photos format if I select the second option it will first copy of this photo out of this iPad and then convert it into JPG before transferring it into my external hard drive which means it will take extra time to convert but after the conversion all the photos will be in JPG mode which means you not only able to use it on Apple devices like iPhone or iPad but you can also view it on Android devices or Windows computer so I usually select the second option because it can be used universally and another thing here is that they have the other option called export with encryption this one here if you want your photo to be encrypted which means only people with the right password are able to view these photos but in my case no photo is sensitive so I just untick export with encryption here and again I click on export and I will select the second option now the process will start it will take a while again it will take longer time than normal because it will export first and then convert all of those photos from HEIC to JPG so let's sit tight and wait for it Okay, now you see it is say converting, so we have to wait for it to convert. Okay, now you can see it's ready. All these photos are in JPG. And again, if you take a look at my Extreme SSD again, go to it and we look for DMOP right here, photos. So as you can see that with DMOP iPhone Manager, you can transfer the whole album of photos, no matter how many they are, you can transfer them quickly and conveniently. And DMOP iPhone Manager does not just provide you with the ability to transfer photos from your iPad or iPhone to your external hard disk or computer, but you can also transfer music back and forth, videos and movies, 
you can also back up your whole Apple devices. You can also use it as a flash drive, store different files into your device. For data security, it's the one I showed you earlier. It allows you to encrypt or decrypt any files or photos from your iPad or iPhone. You can also back up or restore contacts, podcasts, books, ringtones, app, SMS, calendar, and bookmarks as well. So this app is like the best all-in-one transfer app for you that it works on both Mac and Windows computer. It is the best replacement to iTunes as well. So if you're interested in the app, all the links are in the description, you can check them out. As always, you can try with the trial versions first to see how it works. And if you like it, you can go back to its official website to purchase the app genuinely. Okay, that's it guys. This is how you can transfer your photos from your iPad to an external hard drive successfully. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe for more useful videos in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.